Top spot? Yes, of course. It's like redemption for me. You know, my first one, I got a loss, but I'm really excited to be back. You know, I think the biggest thing was like six months of training, injury free. Like, I'm literally going to this fight the best I've been, you know, so I'm really, really excited. I think um, I was asking for Mick, you know, like, oh, Mick, I wanted a main event with the crowd, especially because in Florida, I had the crowd again, you know, it was like big crowd and uh, I had five fights in the apex, you know, so I was like so good to remember and feel, have that feeling of why we do this, you know, and, you know, the show we like to put on. He's like, oh, no, we just have this one. That's okay. And now it's like private, private, you know, I'm like, oh, my gosh. But I'm so happy to be back at the Apex and get, like, I'm a little bit superstitious, you know, so I really want to make sure I get a win on my main event at the Apex because that's how I lost last time. So I want to get that out of the way. You know, that was a great fight, obviously. I mean, you, you turned into a good performance. But was there anything that you take specifically out of that, you know, whether it be, the week leading into the fight, whether it be five rounds, was there anything that you take out of that that you think will help you the second time around? Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how Young's been training. I imagine she's training ready for five rounds. I didn't feel too much different. Uh, definitely, five, once you do five rounds to go back to three, you're like, oh, man, that's a little bit, like, not that much time. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think... I had two like really good moments with Marina where like the second round was almost the whole time on the ground and I think the fourth round maybe or the end of the fifth or the f one of the later rounds I ended up getting on the mount and finishing the round like in a good position too. So I mean when you start to think like strategic wise going into this one again five rounds like I definitely want to not let her get any rounds you know I don't want her to steal and you start doing the math like okay two to three is it four and one what is it you know so I definitely want to stay ahead on the rounds um and yeah what I saw with Marina what I felt with her is like I had really good moments on the ground and with all my credentials in jiu-jitsu I shouldn't these me these girls shouldn't be like getting out of there alive, you know? <laughs> I mean, not literally alive, but, you know, with a win, you know? If I get to the ground, I should be finishing, you know? So I trained really hard for this camp to be like, and with Tisha too, I had like the Kimura, Toho, leg lock, like I should be finishing at that, you know? Not doing a whole bunch of things, and then in the end you didn't do anything, you know? So um, I really trained hard to make sure that if I get to the ground, I'm gonna finish this fight. So I'm confident. I think I'll be able to get to the ground. Um, and get the win. <laughs> I know you've worked hard to, you know, improve obviously as a complete martial artist in the striking, but is there ever any point where you go like, why am I working on the striking when really I, my grappling is on such a high level? I should just do that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All the time. I mean, my, I have like my dad, uh, my Rogério, my strength trainer coach, they both like really like when I when I train uh, ground, you know, wrestling, the ground, they like really believe that it's good. I need to stay on point with that. But never in my mind, I think like, oh, I feel so much better, you know, everything for me is, is easier with my striking getting better, you know, my, I've, I, we we're just saying like my feints, my um, confused, my, my opponent, I draw them in to get in, to engage with me a little bit more instead of me chasing all the time. Uh, my striking be on point, I got like, not frustrated as much that I'm chasing. I can cut off the cage way better now. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think eventually even like, I'm not looking for the knockout, but I think just mixing everything together, I'll have knockouts too eventually. So, um, and yeah, base, my kicks are better. Wrestling is better. Everything's better with the striking. So no way I want to I wanna go away from that, you know? And I think that that's all I need to be like really dangerous for the division, you know, because I don't see any of the girls too threatening on the ground for me, you know. Yeah, obviously you're facing, you know, the elite people in the division right now, but what do you think about Jan as an opponent? Like, is there anything that she does specifically that's more concerning maybe than other opponents? You know, it's so funny, because I always thought like, man, okay, I'm a, I'm a ground girl, you know, I'm a ground player, grappler, and I always go into like the line of fire, you know, and as a grappler, we don't, Technically, we don't, we shouldn't like to get hit, you know, because that's completely different than what we do, you know. We, we're the gentle art, you know, we do arm bars and chokes, we don't get punched in the face. So most of the grapplers in a fight, they don't enjoy to get punched in the face, you know. But I put myself in that line, you know, I know I need, to, I have a chance to get hit a lot to get to the ground. And I always thought like, man, I thought that the strikers they'd be confident in their striking and want to like overwhelm the grappler. You know, like, okay, the grappler doesn't like to get hit. Let me, let me land some good punches on them and then they're gonna, you know, they're gonna 
be away. And all the girls I fought, most of them, they hit and run, a lot of like point fighting, you know, hit and out, hit and out, it's very like good, strategic. And Yan, she's aggressive striker, she goes forward. So I'm kind of like getting what I asked for, you know, a little bit, as in like, and I'm almost like, oh man, now it's gonna be hard, because, you know, no one wants to ask to get hit in the face, you know, but that's kind of like what I'm asking for when I want a fighter like Yan, you know, someone who's gonna go and try and hit me and overwhelm me, and I think that's one of her strengths, and that she has high volume, good technique, strong punches. Um, she hits in the good, like, right spot. Um, but at the same time, as a grappler, that's good, you know, because it's a little bit easier to take them down, you know? So good thing I'm durable. <laughs> good thing, you know, I can, I think I can, you know, if I need to stay at 25 minutes standing up, I'm, I feel good to do that. Um, and I think it's, I'm at a really good moment of my career to fight someone like that that's gonna try and put the pressure on me, you know, because I finally am starting to settle in on my striking. <laughs> you mentioned the fact that it's, a private event of, I mean, have they told you what to expect in terms of atmosphere? Because obviously, you know, they just said no, no fans, no media. Do you know what's going to happen in there? Do you know what environment you're walking into? Or do you have to wait till fight night to find that out? Um, I mean, I know Mark Zuckerberg, like, rented out the whole event, you know, so I know he'll be there. I mean, but I don't know if it's just, like, literally him and his wife or if he's going to have friends, or if it's just, like, a, it'll be, like, a small party. I don't know, you know, but um, from who wanted, like, you know, a main event with a crowd going to, like, very, very private, you know, I'm definitely like, okay, we're going to be back, you know, like a sparring. Um, it's a different type of adversity that you have to get through because you get distracted so easily, you know, so any like commentating or anything you can, if you're not focused, your mind can get, you know, distracted, you know, so I'm excited, you know, and that just makes me more um, driven to put on a good show for, I mean, I know everyone's watching on TV, you know, but for Mark and whoever's going to be there, put on a show. If that's what they want to see as a show, then we're going to give a show. I love it. Last thing for me, um, obviously this is a big fight in the division, but are you thinking about exactly what it means? We've already got a title fight lined up. You think Marina's probably next. I mean, so this like next, next, or this sets up a number. I mean, are you thinking about that, or is it more just like let's just win and see how things shake out? Yeah, I mean... It's because who I train with, I train with like Luke, I train with Luke Rockhold, I train with Cheeto Vera, you know, and um, I kind of, I'm lucky because I got both of their camps going into this camp. I was able to get off of like the energy and the training and the focus from their camps. And I see like Cheeto who's fought, I don't know, three former champions before. So I think that would be like a, if I have a dominant performance, um, that would be like a next good step for me. You know, I don't think, oh, I want to fight exactly for the belt. I mean, I'm not going to be the person to say, like, no, no, I don't want a title fight. You know, if they offer to it, you know, maybe we'll take it. But for me, if I had a choice, I would like to do one more fight um, and against a former champion. So, I don't know, Rosna Mayunes or Jessica Andrade or maybe even the loser of Zhang Weili and Carla Esparza. Um, I think would be a good test for me, you know, and if I beat a former champion, then go fight the actual, the real champion. 